The Gospel of the Lord, November the 27th, 2013, Luke 21, 12, 19. The Lord said to his disciples, But before all this happens, you will be seized and persecuted. You will be handed over to the synagogues and to imprisonment, and brought before kings and governors for the sake of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Make up your minds not to prepare your defense, because I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated universally on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your perseverance will win you your lives. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This last week of the ending of the liturgical year is preparing us for the perseverance. This is exactly what the Lord is talking about. He has gone away to his throne and until he comes back full of glory to judge the world, we are in this time of grace, but the time of grace, of mercy, is not a time, it's not an idle time, it's a time where we have to, it's our opportunity to bear witness, where we have to make up a lot of work to try to gather our brothers along with Christ. Following Christ to heaven is not an easy thing to do. It's not a picnic time, it is a, t a very hard time. This is the narrow door, this is the narrow way that the Lord told us in the Gospels. How is it going to happen? He says, you will be seized and persecuted, you will be handed over to synagogues and imprisonment, brought before kings and governors for the sake of my name. Being handed over to the synagogues was the same as being handed over to imprisonment, to those who hated Jesus, who, did, who rejected him. And he says, that will be your opportunity to bear witness, just as Jesus bore witness of God, his Father, our Father, on the cross, and through those three times of judging that he had to go through three times where he was unlawfully condemned totally against reason and against truthfulness and against love just for the hatred of God he was condemned the Lord says make up your minds not to prepare your defense and this is so beautiful. I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist. The Lord will be coming along with us, even though we do not see him. But should you, should you or me, should we encounter a situation where we have to bear witness, let us remember that the Lord has said to us, Do not prepare your defense. I myself will give you the eloquence and the wisdom. So we have to, so we can rest, we have to trust God and rest in tranquility, rest easy, because He is coming along with us if we set up our minds to follow Him, to keep witness. We must be prepared to know that even our parents and friends will betray you, even they will betray us for the name of the Lord. You will be betrayed by your parents, by your brothers, and even your friends. And then we have this incredible thing. He says, some of you will be put to death. But again, he says, not a hair of your head will be lost. What is the Lord talking about? We have said that in Genesis, we read, you will die of, that, of death which means the eternal death. But it doesn't matter that this life of us, precious as it is, 
be taken from us, because the owner of life will give it back to you and me with the resurrection. And we can be completely certain that if we dare to give witness on the name of Jesus Christ for his sake, and if it takes us all the way down to being assassinated, we can be a hundred percent certain that we will win that beautiful spot in heaven with a glorious body in the resurrection. Not a hair of your head will be lost. Your perseverance will win you your lives. Of course, for perseverance we need two things which are most important. First and foremost, the grace of God, which is exactly the strength the effect of the Holy Spirit living in your soul that gives you the strength to live as the Son of God, as a Son of God, but also your fierce determination that you will do whatever necessary to keep faithfully on the side of the Lord. So it is the combination of those two, the love of the Lord and every ounce of your strength and will. That is what will rent the perseverance fruit. May we have a fruitful life and may we all find ourselves persevering to the end. May the Lord Almighty in His, mer in His mercifulness and love make us do it and help us accomplish it. God bless you all, brothers.